Hey guys, welcome back to Poplar Ridge. I'm getting ready to work on the uh, big pile of firewood that we had brought in on the log truck. But I decided to go ahead and replace my sprocket on my chainsaw. Um, I've noticed that my chainsaw is bogged down a few times um, as I've been cutting. And I think it's just time to replace the, the drive sprocket. It's got some grooves in it, and um, it's the original sprocket on this chainsaw. So I figured I'd take a few minutes and look that over and clean this up and see if that, that helps that out at all. <clears throat> this won't be a how-to video particularly, but I will bring you in here and show you the the difference between the new one and the old one as I get it apart here. So I am going to uh, get this taken apart and show you the difference and we'll be right back. Okay, so I have uh, blown out the chainsaw just to get it cleaned up here. Uh, it's not real hard to replace this drive sprocket. You're just going to take off a retaining clip and this kind of flat washer or keeper that's on there. Pull that off and the, the uh, drive sprocket comes right off. Alright, so let me see if I can show you this. This is the sprocket that came off there. And you can see the <clears throat> you can see the grooves that are worn in it, which is normal. This is a normal wearable part. Um, but when you compare that to the replacement here, hopefully it's a good replacement. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not the same size, of course. Looks like we're going to be running to the to town. Well, since the um, sprocket on the chainsaw was a total fail, I think we'll just start uh, moving what we've already cut, and then we'll go get a sprocket in the morning. And if the weather's right, we'll get a bunch of this cut up tomorrow. So um, this needs to be moved and stacked anyways, because I'm running out of firewood over there. So that's what I'm going to do now. Found some cheap help. You ready? Uh -huh. Here we go. Yeah. Say hi to the camera. Look, Dad, both of them are about to fall. This one's about to fall. I grabbed the top one. This was the top one.
high enough. I'm too small. High you don't say we're too small. Put it up there and then push with your hands. Okay, now push from the bottom. Flip it up in there. Ouch. Thought you were too small. You helped me. I did not. Yes, you did. Why is there sawdust everywhere? Did you cut these? We don't say we can't do something. We find a new way to do it, okay? See if there's something up here. Did you hear me? Yeah. I don't think there's anything up here that <coughs> I can climb. Oh, I found something. Be careful climbing on that. Okay. In case the logs try to fall. All right. Okay. I found a spear. <laughs> Daddy, look. I'm the king of the logs. The log king? Probably. Should we go in and get dinner? What? <clears throat> Should we go inside and get some dinner? Yeah. Come over here, quit jumping in front of the camera. Look over this way. Why? Look over the camera. So, <laughs> tell them what your name is. Look, look at the camera. Say. What your name is? Look right there. Johnny. <laughs> Tell him what your name is. Johnny. <laughs> this is Jace. He's my son. He was actually in my very first YouTube video that I ever <coughs> made, weren't you? He showed up while we were sharpening the chainsaw in that video. What do you want to be when you grow up? Turtle patrol. A turtle patrol. That's what he wants to be when he's not a farmer. No! Why not? Too boring. Too boring? You have to feed everything. You have firewood. Well then, yep, yeah, then you Get know. Get grass for your animals. Then you know. Move your animals. But you, I'm not done. But then you know Get where them your, food. But then you know where your food comes from and it's good and it's healthy for you and you help other people get healthy food. Buy them food. So much money! Get in the ranger. Let's go. Get some dinner. Okay, here we are a couple days later, and I've gotten the right part now. Um, <clears throat> the one I was carrying in my kit is actually a 3257 tooth, which will not work. Um, you can see the diameter is much smaller. Um, it's not the right part. But now I went ahead and I bought two of these. This is the new one, and this is the old one. And I bought a second one to keep as a backup for future use. So this sprocket you can see on the original you can see where this one's all worn out where it's just been used a lot over time. I think this new one is going to go a long way to help solving our problem. I know a lot of you were concerned in the last video that my saw wasn't sharpened. It is. I make sure that I always run a sharp chain um, and I knew this was really starting to go and it probably should have been replaced some time ago. I also got some questions about um, my bar and the fact that um, I'm not flipping it, but I am actually flipping the bar almost every time I sharpen this. The way you can tell if somebody's flipping their bar or not is 
there'll be wear on one side, but not on the other. Um, but let me show you why you're thinking you did, that I'm not flipping it. So you can see there's wear on the bottom on this side, but not on the bottom on this side. But there is wear. You can see it's upside down now. There's wear here. Definitely there's some more wear um, on this side, you know, with it facing quote unquote the right way up. But these bars can be run either way. And I probably haven't done 100% of a job of flipping this every time, but you will see me run it from time to time with a still logo flipped the wrong way. Um, but they are made to rotate so that the bar wears evenly. And if the sprocket um, isn't uh, the issue or doesn't fix our problem, it may be that the bar is worn un unevenly and we may need to look into that. All right, the saw's warmed up. I've got you in place here. Let's see if this saw will uh, dig in and pull itself down and not bog down like the other, like it did in the previous video so much. So um, this log here is pretty, pretty decent size. Probably 14 or 15 inches across. So it's a decent test. So. We'll get you lined up here and let's see what happens.
we're losing light on this Saturday evening. I had a good time out here just chipping away at this again and <clears throat> more than anything I wanted to make sure my saw was running good after replacing that sprocket and that definitely helped a lot. Um, there was a lot of good tips left in the comments of my last uh, video but I kind of knew that um, the sprocket was the issue because I've seen the wear on it and knew it was going to need replaced soon. Uh, nonetheless I do appreciate all the comments and the help and uh, a lot of you are just looking out for um, guys out there that are cutting wood and sharing your knowledge and I always appreciate that. I appreciate the comments and the, the likes and the uh, subscriptions have been way up for me uh, over this last month to uh, two months and um, I'm very blessed and I really appreciate you guys being here uh, to give you a quick look at what we got done today and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.